Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. You are here with me, Diana, and today we are going to be planting pawpaw trees. Yes, we got pawpaw trees today we're going to be planting. And I am super excited for these plants here, well these trees. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. I have two different varieties here. We have a Susquehanna pawpaw and a mango pawpaw. Um, in order to plant a pawpaw tree, you have to have a pollinator. And it has to be a separate um, cultivar than the one you have. So you need two separate uh, trees. Okay, and these are um, like kind of underdwelling trees. So for the first two, three years, you have to keep these plants shaded. And after that, then you can um, take your shade cloth off and let them sprout. They need to be in full sun, but for the first two to three years, they have to be shaded. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this sheet right here and I'm going to wrap it around these cages here and that's going to be my shade for them and I like that too because you can take these off and wash them and put them back out here um, they need to be I believe eight to ten feet apart from each other to pollinate these are what I'm going to be using today this stuff here we got the little Epsom salt some bone meal blood meal, um, plant food. We're going to be using these stakes here to secure the uh, wiring. We got our fish fertilizer. We're going to be fertilizing them. We have some zip ties because we're going to be zip tying these to the wire so that don't blow away. And um, we're going to go ahead and get into this. So if you guys want to watch me plant some pawpaw trees, let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, axe pick, and we are going to start digging, getting these weeds out the way. That's the first thing I do. And then we're going to dig our hole. All right, you guys, so I've gotten the weeds out the way. Now we're going to go ahead and dig our hole. Okay, you guys, I want you to take a look at this hole that I'm digging. So I'm trying my best to get this hole into a square because they say not to do it in a circle. It's best to do your holes in a square. So I'm trying my best here to get it in a square shape because they say when you do a circle, it encourages the uh, roots to wrap around. Okay, so we are ready. I got the hole dug out. Now we're gonna go ahead and condition our soil. So we're gonna put some plant food down in here. We have the native soil and compost. So we're putting the all-purpose plant food in here for a little more. We'll put some bone meal down in here. As you guys can see, I have uh, this red, rocky clay soil. So we have to do some conditioning here. We're going to put a little salt down in there. And... Uh, blood meal. I'm running low on this. Put a little of that down in there. And we're going to mix it on up. Mix it on up. Okay, so we got the soil nice and mixed up here. And here's my hole. I tried to get it as square as I could, you guys. <laughs> so, 
we're going to fill the bottom up here with this native soil. All right, you guys, so I have got this hole almost full here. I've added a little more bone meal and plant food in here. Just gonna mix it up a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead on and plant, plant this uh, Susquehanna. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> I can't seem to pronounce nothing right. And this is a grafted tree. I don't know if I let you guys know, but this has been grafted. And we don't want to cover the graft for sure. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. Right there. I think that is good right there. Okay, add this dirt. Okay, so there she is. She is planted. Now we're gonna give her some fish fertilizer. Give her a good soaking. And I wanna let you guys know, I've been putting I put some uh, fish fertilizer in uh, halfway through the um, filling the dirt in. So and then we're gonna give her some more. And we're gonna get ready to put some mulch around her. Here's the mango pawpaw. Here she is planted. I don't know if you guys can see, but there she is. So I'm about to put her cage around her. All right, you guys, so here it is, the final result. My two pawpaw trees. So as you can see, I got this uh, sheet wrapped around here. This is to protect it from too much sun. And I like the fact I could take it off and wash it if I need to. And I could just close it on up like this here. And that's going to keep it from getting sun scald because these trees will get sun scald. So that's it, you guys. So I hope you found this video helpful. And make sure to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And make sure to hit that notification bell. Until next time, I'll be seeing y'all. Bye.